Before Emanuel Lopes arrived at Norfolk Superior, Sergeant Michael Chesna's fellow officers quietly filed inside, offering support and strength to his grieving family. <laughs> Sergeant Chesna's widow, Cindy, would lean on those officers throughout the arraignment, weeping as Lopes entered the courtroom. Today's appearance was a procedural matter. Lopes was indicted by a grand jury earlier this month on multiple counts, including two counts of murder, one for Sergeant Chesna, the other for Vera Adams. Prosecutors detailed a timeline of events that July morning when they say Lopes hurled a large rock at Chesna, who was only responding to a call for an erratic driver. Sergeant Chesna was dropped to the ground, and the witness characterized him as being unconscious. He took the firearm turned it on Sergeant Chesna and shot him eight times. Zira Adams was shot twice, prosecutors say, including a fatal shot to the heart. That he has a history of suicide ideation, that he has in fact cut his neck with a pair of scissors in an attempt to commit suicide. The 20-year-old's defense attorney argued his client has a history of mental illness, but did not say his competence was in question. The judge ordered him held without bail, and Sergeant Chesna's widow was forced to sit and watch as her husband's accused killer walked by. Some have asked why Lopes was led into the courtroom in the manner he was down that aisle past uh, the widow and the officers and the family. It's because it's a very old building and the holding cell is directly across from the entrance. Lopes was held without bail. We're live in Denham, Julie Lonchek, WCVB News Center 5.